Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. Uh, so we continue our videos related to Scoop tool, which allows us to import export data from MySQL to Hadoop cluster. Uh, last time we discussed how we can export uh, data from MySQL database to Hadoop HDFS using Scoop. So today we'll see how we do we can do the opposite operation. So if we are given uh, a file with data on HDFS, how we can import it into uh, MySQL database. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as usual we have two terminals open. One is needed uh, for interacting with MySQL and another one with Hadoop cluster. Okay, so let's get starting uh, by creating by creating a database in MySQL. Okay, this is done by executing command create database and database name. Okay, let's call it testdb. Okay, so once again, for those who are not familiar with uh, SQL, we are now preparing a series of videos related to that. So very soon it should be available on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our website where we post uh, useful articles related to big data. So just a reminder, blog.dataguru.guide. Okay, so we have created our database. Now let's create a, a table. So first of all, we say that we should use this test DB. Okay, and now let's create a table. Uh, let's call it test one and uh, let's create a table which consists of uh, two columns, just for simplicity. Okay, so the first one, let's call it test int column, which will contain integer. And the second one will be a test text column with a type varchar. So it's just an analog of of string. Okay. Okay. Let's verify. Show tables. Okay. And describe. Okay. Integer varchar. Okay. Okay. So everything what we needed to do on MySQL side is done. Okay. Let's also verify that this table is empty right now. We don't have anything empty set. Let's now move to Hadoop cluster and let's create a, a CSV file, comma separated value file, which will contain data we would like to insert into MySQL. Okay, so let's create a file by opening it in VI editor and Let's let's uh, create some rows which we would like to insert. Okay, let's let's do as follows. So we have uh, three rows of data. So the first one is integer. Uh, so like we defined in our table, and the first, the second one is text. Okay. Okay, so as a separator, we will, uh, we will use a default separator, comma, uh, but also in the next video when we'll talk about advanced uh, scoop features, uh, we will show how you can use any custom separator as, as well. Yeah, so if you use a separator which uh, differs from default one, that is comma, then you should explicitly say that uh, to scoop. Yeah, so next time we'll show how, how this could be done. Okay, let's save our work. VQ. Okay, let's let's verify. Okay, yeah, we have this file. And 
as it was created in a local file system. Now let's move it to, to HDFS. Let's first create a, a folder on HDFS where we will store this file. So we'll use some HDFS commands now. If you haven't seen our previous videos related to HDFS, how we navigate it, so that's the right time to do that. Okay, mkdir, and let's say export folder. Okay, let's create it. Okay, it, it could take a while. And once it is done, let's move our file to that newly created HDFS folder. Okay. Okay. It should be there. Okay. And let's verify that indeed it's there. HDFS cut and file CSV. Okay. So in this command we both verify that this file is in HDFS and the content is exactly as we defined. Right? Let's see. Okay. Exactly the same. Okay, so now let's let's write a scoop command which will allow to export the content of this HDFS uh, HDFS file to our uh, MySQL table. Okay, so scoop as previously, but now we use export subcommand saying that we are not going to import data from from MySQL to HDFS, but export data from HDFS to MySQL. Okay, connect. Let's define uh, server. So we are using Java database connector. Uh, protocol is MySQL. Okay, so the server address as such is localhost and after address we should define our database. Okay, so the database name was testdb. Testdb. Okay, so the username was root. Password as always for all tools on Cloudera VM is Cloudera. Cloudera. Okay, now let's define a table in which we want to export. It was test1. Okay, test1. Now we should define where scoop should take data from. Okay, it was uh, user Cloudera export folder. Okay, so if we don't specify any specific file, like file CSV, it means that Scoop will take all files which are stored under this directory. So let's do like this. And as previously, we will use only one stream to export data. So in the next video, when we'll discuss advanced uh, scoop options, we'll talk about parallelizing import or export. But for now, let's do that using only one stream. OK, so we are actually ready to export data. OK, so once again, table is absolutely clear. And now let's let's do the export. Okay, so it takes a while. Okay, so just a reminder that Scoop reminds that using password in a clear way, specifying it like we did, is not the best practice. So next time we'll see how we can operate using this uh, minus p option. Okay. So 
so it's about to start the export okay so as you see the yeah, number of splits is exactly the same as we specified okay so if we want to use multiple streams in parallel then we should specify a column by which data will be split yeah, but we'll talk about that next time okay so data export job has been created with this ID and now it's about to start Okay, so map reduce job has been started. Okay, map zero reduce zero. We do that in one stream. So what this map reduce is about, you should be able to read in our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide tomorrow. Uh, so stay turned, bookmark this page. Okay exported three rows and now let's check so previously this table was empty empty set let's see okay and if we compare if we compare the content of our file to what we have in the table that's exactly what we had. So we have successfully exported data from Hadoop cluster to MySQL. So that's a great success. Uh, so for today that would be all. So just a reminder, next time we'll talk about some advanced uh, scoop options, both related to import and export. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel so if you have done if you have not done that previously if you still have any questions feel free to post any comments otherwise thanks for uh, to all for watching and see you next time bye bye